Pyramid Lake and uh, I'm going to go through a little of the gear that I use out here. So I like this Reddington Predator rod. It's a super stiff, fast rod, which I like for, you know, the heavy winds out here. I use a nine foot eight weight, uh, big trout rod, but, you know, we have big fish out here and we have big wind out here. You know, it's not uncommon to be fishing in 25 to 30 mile an hour wind. So to be able to punch through that, you know, is nice to have a, a heavy stout rod. Um, for when we are stripping out here, uh, want to use as heavy of a sinking line as you can. Uh, the reason for that is you're constantly just casting and casting and casting and casting. And if you're having to wait for your line to sink down forever, you know, you're losing fishing time every time that that line's just sinking super slow. So if it gets down right now, then you're stripping in, you're constantly fishing. You're not having to wait around for that. It's not like we have to get it super deep. You know, we're probably fishing 10 feet deep, but if it gets down quick, um, then that's going to help you catch fish. You know, you're going to be in that zone more often. So super heavy sinking line. Um, you know, there's a lot that are used out here. People use shooting heads, integrated shooting heads, full sink lines. You know, it's kind of a, a personal preference right now. I'm using the outbound short um, in a type six. So it's sinking, you know, six inches per second. Um, then it gets you down. Uh, and then, you know, I'm using a pretty heavy reel. It's a seven eight reel. It's balancing this rod nicely. Um, and you know something with a pretty good drag. The, you, these fish aren't gonna fight super hard, but if you hook into a you know twenty two pound fish, twenty five pound fish, you want something that's gonna be able to slow it down a little bit. So you know something that's got a solid drag. I am using uh, Reddington Delta 7.8, and this thing hasn't let me down yet, so that's my setup.